The Middle Ages was a period of darkness and chaos, especially for the Western world. From these centuries of darkness and chaos, the Western world has been able to create an age of enlightenment and science through painful experiences. So what happened in the Middle Ages? Why is it expressed as a period of chaos and darkness? Let's look for answers to these questions together. Until the 5th century, three empires dominated Eurasia. The 5th century was a period of dissolution for these empires. In this age, millennia-old civilizations collapsed, new kingdoms were established, famine and plague became widespread, and trade began to decline. A sense of depression and confusion began to prevail in the cities as the population decreased. All three empires embraced new doctrines to counter the dissolution and complexity brought about by this new age. Rome began to cling to Christian doctrine, Buddhist doctrines developed in India began to be accepted among the merchant classes in China, and Hinduism consolidated its place in India. The crises in these civilizations are attributed to a global climate change. However, it would be a mistake to consider climate change as the sole cause. These civilizations had problems that had been going on for centuries. Increases in agricultural productivity had begun to decline, and the consumption and luxury craze of the wealthy classes had reached its peak and extravagance had become more widespread. In addition, the superstructure of the states had become larger than before. The depression of this age affected the Roman Empire the most. The development and rise of Roman civilization was based on slavery. By the Middle Ages, Roman emperors were less interested in increasing agricultural productivity. The Roman landowners, on the other hand, were developing ways of indebting and exploiting the Roman peasants. In India and China, this situation in Rome was less damaging. This is why the fall of Rome was greater. The fall of Rome led to the beginning of the Dark Ages of Europe. Urban life, literacy, literature, and art began to slowly decline in the Europe of this period. With the fall of Rome, hunger and plague began to manifest themselves. In the late 6th and early 7th centuries, the population of Europe is estimated to have halved. Meanwhile, warrior tribes began to flock to the old borders and settle in Roman lands. These warlike tribes were the Goths, Franks, Visigoths, Ostrogoths, Angles, Saxons, and Jutes. These warlike tribes soon began to speak Latin dialects, adopted Christianity, and adopted the old Roman customs. After these warlike tribes, tribes from far Asia began to strengthen their dominance in Europe. Huns and Northmen destroyed the kingdoms founded by Franks and Goths and spread insecurity and fear in Europe in the 9th and 10th centuries. After the fall of Rome, many of the invaders who came to Europe began to settle on the continent. These invaders were agricultural societies and began to use iron in weapons. These invading societies began to transform from a primitive communist social life into kingdoms and aristocrats. Thus, class differences began to spread in these societies. Roman society had already begun to unravel on its own before the invaders arrived. The invaders only accelerated this process. After the fall of Rome, some of the invaders tried to adopt Roman agriculture by cultivating large lands with prisoners of war. In the late 5th century, Ostrogoth Theodoric proclaimed himself Emperor of the West. By the late 8th century, Charlemagne had established an empire on the borders of France, Catalonia, Italy, and Germany. However, after these kings died, their empires also disintegrated. The main reason for this was the lack of a material production base. In this age, European cities lost their population, were abandoned, and fell into ruin. Trade in Europe declined to such a low level that gold money disappeared from circulation. Only the clergy could read and write. The clergy used literary Latin, which was no longer used in everyday life. With the exception of a few monasteries in Ireland, classical knowledge was forgotten in Europe. Thanks to traveling monks and scholars, written culture continued to be used. Books containing knowledge of the Greco-Roman world were destroyed when invaders destroyed monasteries. 
This was the situation in medieval Europe. Especially in Western Europe, the darkness and chaos of this age were felt more keenly. However, a new order would emerge from this chaos and darkness. Agriculture in Europe began to be reorganized using the methods of both the old Roman Empire and the invading peoples. Over time, foodstuffs began to be produced more efficiently. The change in agricultural methods led to new forms of social organization. Thus, warlords living in fortified castles in Europe began to both exploit and protect the villages of dependent peasants by extorting tribute. 